I'm not gonna make any friends with this one. <laughs> Let's kick that intro. All right, let's get into this. Let's talk about what really grinds my gears. And today we're getting into it with the Rorock Atlas III. What, come at me, bro. Yeah, you weren't expecting this one. Everyone's just been talking about how great of a helmet you are. But let's dig right into this real quick. First and foremost, you guys say that you are a premium helmet. Let me tell you, you know what premium helmets have? Open and closed vents, not butt plugs. Not those butt plugs, those butt plugs. Premium helmets don't have those butt plugs. They have open and closed vents. Yeah, good luck trying to get that butt plug image out of your head. And if you think I'm kidding, why don't you have Rorock explain to you why you can buy it with a condom? I mean, come on, that doesn't even make sense. Let me show you something. This helmet, this helmet's like five years old. You wanna see something? You wanna see a trick there, Rorock? How hard is that? This thing's like half the price of your helmet and they had to pay for the branding. What's your problem? What's your excuse? This is all shiny and has all of its fun little decals. That's ridiculous, guys. And now let's talk about your shockwave. Are you kidding me? Like that's a $150 upgrade, which hey, I get it. I use a Cardo in mine. I had to buy that as well. I had to put that in the helmet. Your helmet comes with microphone, headphones, and then nothing else. You have to buy the shockwave. What's the point of putting the headphones and the microphone in there? Either I want it or I don't. If I don't want it, I don't want it in the helmet. It would be cheaper. Hell, take those microphone and headphones out, knock down the price of the helmet and make it cheaper so like I can just buy that. And what's the point of making the shockwave magnetic? It's not a battery pack, it's the entire thing. I could get it if it was a battery pack and I'm going on a long road trip and I buy like two or three of those battery packs and I swap them out as they die, but everything is in there. So there is no reason to put, make it magnetic. You set it and forget it. How many times has anyone taken their like Cena or their Cardo off of their helmet and put on a different one? It's just dumb. Who was thinking that one through? And then you put all the buttons on the back, but you're like, oh, hey, the buttons are bigger now. Well, what about this dork here? He's got his hoodie on all the time. So he's gonna reach back there and he knows where the buttons are and he can feel those out. I can barely tell what the freaking buttons are on the side of my helmet. Now you want me to know what they are back here with gloves on and one of those goofy engine hawk hoodies? Come on. Who thought this stuff through? You guys are taking pages straight out of Harley's plan book where you're just like, oh, let's just slap crap on there and say, whatever guys, here you go. Even if you don't like it, check out the new paint jobs. They're awesome. Uh, they're, it's ridiculous, man. And seriously, premium brand like the Atlas, the big thing about the Atlas, the thing that I saw during your premiere and stuff is like you didn't want to make another helmet that just looked like all the others. So you gave us the Atlas 3. Well, joke's on you, that's the Atlas 2. That's how much they just look the same. All your helmets look the same. The Atlas 1, spoiler alert, looks just like that too. This, there's nothing at like, ugh. Anyway, that's my really quick rant on Roar Rock. That is what grinds my gears. If you feel the same, throw a comment down below. If you don't feel the same, uh, you can throw a comment down below. I'll just ignore it. <laughs> Thumbs up, like and subscribe, and uh, I will see you guys all on the flip side.